Hello, this is Jia. I'm doing another rejection therapy session, and uh, this is my one trade day journey of conquering fear. Uh, this has already happened, so this is what I did uh, today. Uh, remember, on day 26, I went to University of Texas. Uh, found, I found a professor, uh, persuaded him to allow me to give a lecture to his students. Uh, this actually happened today. Uh, that uh, I went there and, and did give a 45 minutes lecture. The, the topic of the class is uh, communication for social change. So the, my lecture was um, rejection for social change. And uh, I couldn't play the whole thing, so I just took out a little uh, small part and you can, you can get a sample of it. And um, also, um, before it started, I, I made a, uh, a rejection request. I thought it was a good one because uh, I asked some a very personal question uh, that you know what's your biggest fear and what are you gonna do about it and uh, I thought no one was gonna um, re reply to a stranger uh, but I was surprised you know I'm always surprised with my rejection therapy sessions and uh, lastly um, at the end of this video I got re rather emotional uh, the you know the reason is I I'm from the family of teachers, and uh, my is my grandmother has always wanted me to be a teacher, and uh, now she passed away, and uh, I didn't get on that teacher track, but I I give lecture to students, and uh, so it's almost like fulfilling her wish. So I'm very happy. Okay, uh, let's see what happened. Before I start, I want to ask you a question. So, how many of you want to come over here and tell me what's your biggest fear in life is? And what you gonna do about it? Anyone? My biggest fear is I don't want to lose any of the people I love, but I can't really do anything about that. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyone else? Two. All right. Um, I have a fear of dying at a young age. Like dying at a young age. Dying before I live. You know, like up to adulthood, I guess. Like early in a family, I fear that I'm, I might die. <laughs> I don't know how to even like help myself with that. That's a fear I have. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, um, based on my experience, you have about 10 more years before you're fine. I don't know about me. I, I, I think I'm about fine too. So. <laughs> so. All right, I got two. That's good. Anyone else? Three? I kind of have a fear of failure. Um, just kind of like. I know that you know you won't always get plan A, whatever, instead of plan B, plan C, and everything. But but still, it's it's, it's always just kind of there, you know that you know things won't always go your way. So I also share that fear. Yeah. I do. Um, that's frankly why I'll tell you my story a little bit. This is a kind of coming from that fear of failure. Go ahead. I have a fear of regret, like that. I, in five years, I'll look back and say that I wish I did this. I wish I worked harder on that, or stuff like that. Really? That is, man, oh. I, 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 you can fit, my story fit right into that. I, I didn't want to have regret myself. That's why the, the whole story started. So, anyone else wants to share? Go for it. Like loneliness? I'm sorry? Loneliness? Loneliness. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not good. When your friend is uh, video games or beer, oh, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a, so, what do you plan to do about it? Right, right. When you are uh, 25, 26, you harm me, may also work. So, so, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I share that. I share that uh, fear myself. Those are good. Anyone else? I fear of being too complacent in the future. Too, pla too um, complacent about the future. So well, that just about like things that happen. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just, I'll just settle, settle for this. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Okay, I think we're good. Uh, oh, please, please. I mean, not not being liked, you know, not being accepted. Not being accepted, yeah. being rejected. Yeah, that's uh, that's the fear. Great. Thank you. Um, actually, um, I came in. This is a, my little thing of re rejection therapy. This is a question that's pretty tough. I'm, I'm, but I'm very glad you guys opened up and tell me about this. So I got accepted by you guys. So, um, but let me start telling you a little bit more about my story. How many of you have read the Bible? But yeah, quite a few of you. Okay, I'm not going religious here. I'm going biblical and historical. 
other than Jesus Christ, who is the most important person for Christianity? Who was the one that paved the way to spread the Christianity to the Roman Empire? And Paul. in fact, Paul. Um, All right, that's, that's, that's a good answer. Very good answer. Um, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> that was the, probably the biggest social change in, his, in history. He changed not Roman history, but <clears throat> Western history, even world history. Jesus died, and he took that message as, his, as the apostle to the whole world. And he's very smart. Here's a couple of things I found about Paul. Paul was the, this perfect guy. He's a Roman citizen. Being a Roman citizen is a big deal back then. It's not like in a U.S. citizen. You're born here, you're American. Back then, no. You're, you're born, you have, your parents have to be Roman, you have to be from a certain place, you have from a certain family. And, but Paul was a Roman citizen. But he's also a very devoted Jew. Um, and he's, he knows the, everything about the Bible and so when he tried to make social change, he did not go to remote villages and places. He went to the heart of the Roman culture, he, the heart of the uh, Greek culture. He went to Rome, he went to Athens, he went to Corinth, these big metropolitan areas where he, he knew uh, the, the stories, his message was spread the, the fastest. And also the reason is, he's from those places. He can totally relate to those people. He can come to you and say, I'm just one of you. And here's, so hear, hear what I'm about to say. So, my wife and I went to Europe last, uh, last year. I tried to find a picture, I couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, and the, when you went to the Temple of Athens, you look down, there's a big rock. Uh, they, the guide told us that the rock was where uh, Paul went and, and tried to preach Christianity to Greeks. And the Greek people are saying, we don't have a lot of things, but one thing we don't lack is gods. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, this Jew, this Jew coming to my place telling, me, telling us about gods? Who is this God you're talking about? Now, Paul could start talking about the Bible. Oh, the God created the heaven and earth, seven days, you know, he, uh, he delivered the, uh, you know, the Jews from Egypt through Moses, David, you know, Solomon. No, he didn't say any about any any of that. He's and he look at where so where are your gods? Then they have a temple, they have different uh, statues of gods. And then he found one that says the unknown god. Uh, you guys don't know, but he exists. Look at that. You are worshiping even worshiping him. The people are like, oh I've been trying to find that unknown god for our whole life. <laughs> now we got it. <laughs> people convert it, you know, in, in horse and but that's the, that's the message you want to, that's the message he was able to use. He could relate and he could talk about what's important to them, not important to himself. But then, so I found this incredibly interesting about social change. But what does this have to do with rejection, you may ask? Paul did not start it as a Christian. He, was, he started as a very devoted Jew. In fact, he... he persecuted Christians. He killed some of them. He was a very violent rejecter of Christianity because he feels it defiles his tradition, his religion. And according to the Bible, um, he had to be blinded by Jesus and in order to convert. But when, as soon as he convert, he became this greatest preacher of Christianity in the history. So when you are trying to make social change, is when you get rejected, you will for sure get rejected. When you get rejected, it's not a bad thing. It's really not a bad thing. I, I found this quote from Dr. King, very insightful. This is from the letter from Birmingham Jail. He said, shallow understanding from, from people of goodwill is more frustrating than absolute misunderstanding from people of ill will. Lukewarm acceptance is much more bewildering than outright rejection. When you try to make social change, when you try to communicate your message, you see this kind of violent or very uh, down, downright rejection, it's actually a good thing because you struck a chord. You are trying to change. And people's tendency, their tradition is to try to reject your change. When you just say something, people, everyone starts nodding your hands, it sounds interesting, yeah, sure. You, that's not the right social change you want. You want someone to reject you. When you get rejected, 
don't feel too bad because some of them might turn to people like Paul, who will become your greatest advocate once he gets your message. And lastly, there's this little uh, thing I uh, video I learned about rejection. It's from the movie um, Wall Street 2. Oops, and I didn't See, I find that everybody has a number, and it's usually an exact number, so what is yours? Reject, every reject has a number. Whether it's 800 or 3, once you work through the number, the no becomes a yes, and you'll become a much better person for it. So, uh, thank you. All right, I'm here with uh, Professor Rollins, and uh, he's the professor, the awesome professor I tracked down in my in one of the in one of the days I tried to uh, uh, find someone to see if I can give a lecture to a student. It just happened. So, uh, do you want to say something? I just want to say that he was well prepared and funny. He was funny, and the, and he connected with the students quite well. And I see this is very beneficial to anyone who wants to go through this process. So, I'm going to give him a hug again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, I just walked out of that uh, classroom after giving a lecture. Um, I feel so happy right now. Um, it's like fulfilling my uh, grandma's wish. So, um, Grandma, I love you. Uh, I know you're a better place. Thank you. All right. I'll see you guys the next day. Bye.